Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Let's Play. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Dying for Daylight. This is part two. So, when we last left off... When we last left off, we were back in the EQ, because we need to do some things. Going to get some ice cream. Surgery game. Let's see what else. I think there's more. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly where the other surgery game is. There's a cap. Now, a plane has to be either a toy airplane or a paper airplane. Here's a paper airplane. Okay, so the brain is what we're missing here. I don't remember exactly where is it at right now. Oh, there it is. I don't need to use a hint. Going back to the clown place. We have another hidden object scene. Okay, what we need to get is this record thing. Don't hear. We are here. Rat. Snow globe. Flashlight. Peacock's feathers. Not feather, just one feather. Have a wheel. Clock. Coin. Has to be three. Oh, here's a brush right here. A clothespin. And I'm going to have to use a hint on this one. Ugh, I should have thought that this is there. So what you need to do is that we need to go back to this place. to that location. Scarabs are eaters of carrion. That's dead flesh to you and me. Despite my hundred dollar hand cream, I qualify. I'm not putting my hand in there. Scarabs are eaters of carrion. That's dead flesh to you I, and I me. I get it, Dahlia. Look at these go. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. Who knew scarabs were so talented? They're gone. 
That was fun. Yes, indeed. Uh, the purpose of this record uh, player tape thing is to get these scarabs to the circus thing, and then they leave, and we get this item. I can take the ring now. Yeah, we're taking the ring. And there's another thing that we need to do. There. Now I just need to pull it out. The page must be ripped out and swallowed, says 100 Dormant Drive. It must be important. Okay, so that's the address right now. Check out the journal. And we need to go back to the circus thing. Well, not the circus thing. We need to go back to the, um... Bow shop. Because I truly believe you needed the ring for this purpose. Okay. This is for a, a puzzle that I need to solve soon. Let's see... Let's see here... Okay. So what we need to do is we need to go back to the graveyard place. And what we need to do here, we need to look for, we need to look for an address, which is 100 Dormant Drive. 100 Dormant Drive is an address in Restful Acres. This looks like a code lock, how secret entrancy. And this leads to a puzzle. Unfortunately, for some reason, we could not solve it. But, I found out that, um, what we need to do is to solve it like this, okay? In my stream, I did, did not solve it that way, because I did not fully understand it, but after looking at the walkthrough, I realized that... now. Uh-oh. Hello? Sorry about that. Here goes nothing. Be continued. So that is it for episode one of this story. So now we're going to move on to episode two. Which should be quite interesting, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's move on to episode two, ladies and gentlemen. I think an if this episode is about the wizard in the basement. Previously on Dying for Daylight, Dahlia, this is Alejandro Filoff, owner of the Cirque Terrible in New Orleans. He must have the legendary Sun Potion. Think of it, a potion which allows a vampire to walk in the sunlight. Sax, Tiffany's? Is it possible? In New Orleans, Dahlia finds a war zone. Mm. Foreign invaders attack the VQ, looking for Alejandro. It appears that she's not the only cold-blooded creature dreaming of the sun. <laughs> a coded message. And a visit with troop member Musty Brethren reveals a secret entrance to the theater.
so she descends. The secret entrance led me right into the theater. Episode 2, The Wizard in the Basement. Alrighty then, so we need to pick that up. And let's see. There's a faint smell here. I should kick in my vampire senses. Someone spent a lot of time here. Someone human. Felix. It's written in human scent. By a human fingertip would be my guess. Mm. Hey! Hi there! Let's talk to this girl. Go away! What a pleasant child. This is Tinderbell. Alright, so let's... What am I doing? Oh yeah, we need to go through a hidden object scene upstairs. And what we need to grab here... Is the... Or ordinated key. Which I believe is for the, um... We're downstairs. I know what a cigar looks like. There it is. Is a dragon. Firework. Hourglass. Wig. Soul. Is a shield. This weapon here. I need to find two more gems. And then I need to find a scone. It's a gem here. One more gem. And then I'm going to use a hint. There it is. And here's a note here. Tinderbell? I think that's the V-child I saw in the hall. Scary creature. Scary creature indeed. The prop table has flowers. Wonder if I can get it down. It's a stage prop. They're raised and lowered by those ropes on the wall. And we need to grab this, this gear piece here. Mm. And we can go inside here. Nobody is around. It's a gear piece that is hidden behind the painting. We open this and What's get this? this? There's not much left, but I'll take it with me. This is a potion vial. And we go to the desk. Old Lang Syne? This letter is dated a week ago, well before the invaders struck the VQ. Hmm, I wish I knew what that report said. I wish I knew too. But we have something there. This is a cool looking mechanism, but it's not working. It looks like some parts are missing. Probably so. So we have to go downstairs. Well, not downstairs. Yeah, we have to go back downstairs. But first we have to go out this door here. And we go right over here. And I think the ordin ordinate key goes here. We still have to figure out this situation. Let's open 
this. Somebody's been playing in graveyards or walking in the woods. Okay. Is this a sun lamp? What would a vampire want with that? Let's test it out. Ow, this is a sun lamp, all right. I don't know the reason why they wanted that. Whoops. And there's a device, but we can't get it because we need to unscrew it. And there you have it. Um, then we, we need to do something about this. Gotta grab this gear. And we gotta... Grab this. And I think we have to go back. We have to go back to the place with the newspaper. This is the VQ. Alright, so let's go to the VQ. There's a bottle here. There's nothing else useful in the newspaper. Not even discount coupons. There's nothing else useful in- She says there's nothing else useful. I don't know why she keeps saying that. I'll put some of that oil in this bottle. Okay. So, what we need to do here... Oh yeah, let's go to the hidden object scene. Need to go to the hidden object scene, and we need to find some things. What you need to get out of this is this bottle here. And we have another minigame. Because there's something we need there. We need to find enemies that is holding a weapon. Which of course is the knife. Here's a rabbit. Here's a monster that's holding it. Another rabbit. Another rabbit. Monster. Monster. There we go, and we got this eyeball here, made of crystal. That's interesting. Okay, let's find the other items. Fortunately, the items that I do see is like, um... It's like, you know... And I found a slingshot. Let's see, what else? What else? Here's a sock. A book. And, and we need to find the one eye doll. Here it is. And let's use the hint. One, two, three. Okay, we need to talk to Slip because we need to get Slip. You. Hey, what's going on? Heard anything? Not really. Would you mind handing me a bag of blood? What am I, McDonald's? Don't be selfish. Me? I'm the soul of generosity. Tell you what, you get me a newspaper, and the blood is yours. I'm bored in here. Sure. Let me just go do that little thing for you. Okay, so this is what we need to do. 
So we need to talk to Slick first in order to get the newspaper. One newspaper for Slick coming up. Oh, fun. <laughs> She's so sarcastic. All right, so... Hopefully this will satisfy him. To get rid of his border. All right, Slick, come out. A newspaper! Sweet! Hang on! Here's a bag of blood. Bottoms up. His bottom is going to be up if I ever catch him out of there. Way up. Uh-oh. It looks like he better watch out. Elia always had that assassin attitude in her. But not like a very bad one. It's like she's just annoyed of some of the characters. Which I don't blame her. Next up is going here. A page has been ripped out. What do you want to bet that's the one page I need? Mechanical heart fluid? It must be for the automatons. Mechan- Okay, I get it. I get it now. Alright, so what we need to do right here is that we need to put oil and it has to be three parts of it. I still need to add some blood. Okay, alright girl. You put it in the heat. I don't think that is the right temperature. Ugh, I almost forgot it has to be 425. Oh great, what a waste. Hopefully that should do it. I need to add a few more things. Okay, so we need to add the uh, sea salt things. I need to add a few more things. And this one. I think that's it. Now I just need to fill up the heart valve. Okay, now we need to fill up the heart valve. Of which we don't have, because this one right here, I believe it does not work. So, guess what's happening now? We need to go ahead and solve this puzzle. We also have this music box key here. Do like this. Well, that was charming, but it didn't open the door. What am I missing? I know what is missing. It has to be the perfect lineup. There we go. We forgot every day is old man's song. What an eerie noise. Interesting. Alright, so it looks like we're going to go to another hidden object scene. The one thing you need in this scene here is this. Okay, so we need to catch a butterfly. Snake. Pony. Basket. Uh, we need to grab some candies. Here's a brooch, teddy bear, scissors, pastry, which looks nice. Um, what else? A crown. And we need to find one more candy. 
I didn't even use a hint for this. Awesome. So. Oh, look at these. Stainless mesh. They'd look great with a little black dress of mine. Think I'll borrow them. Okay. Sometimes the items that you pick up doesn't go to the inventory. Tinderbell told Alex someone was leaving things on her pillow while she slept. Was this one of her? It's rather sweet, really. Uh-oh. Here she is. You don't look like the bad one Felix told us about. But you better not try to catch me, or I'll set you on fire. Um, okay. Where is everyone? They left. I was supposed to go too, but I came back to find my baby. Have you seen her? No. Bye. That sweet little bee child needs to learn some manners. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to feel about that, Dahlia. But you know what? She is a little bit off on, around the edges. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we need to go here and I believe the gear pieces is what we're missing but I think I'm missing another one of them I think I'm missing like one more of them let's see hold on let me check the map now everything is the same I'd like to take a closer look, if I can get it down. Apparently something's going on with this lever here. So we need to figure out where to find the spring. But I do believe the spring is what we need to be able to get this lever working. So we're going to go back to that circus booth here, whatever you call it. And we need to get... We need to go to the hidden object scene. But we are going to get the last um, gear piece, which is what it's missing. Let's look at everything here. Alright, I need to find a thimble and a purse. Let's see if I can find a purse first of all. So I think a thimble is very hard to find. I almost yawned. Oh, there's a thimble. And there's the purse. So this means we have to go back here to the doll place. <sighs> I don't know where, what to call it though. We have to go back upstairs and head to the office. What we need to do here, we need to place these pieces of gears or clogs according to this game. Again, I need another cog. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to need another cog. 
problem is... The problem is, where do I find another cog? Wait a minute. I just realized that I'm missing something. If we go back to the room where... where Tinderbell was... There's another cog here. I should have thought about that, but I didn't see it. See, this is why it's very hard to find. It's definitely a hidden object scene, but it's not actually a hidden object scene. Everything that is so small, you can barely see it. Alright, here's another piece here. heart is out of fluid. Now what? I know what to do, Dahlia. I'll take this and see if I can fill it. Yes, exactly. We can fill it up with the stuff that we mixed together. So we have to go back to what I should call it the lab. Table here. There we go. But I think there's something that we need to do first. Hmm, guess I should test the vial I found in Alex's coffin. Oh joy. Hey, look at that. That vial contained the sun potion. It really exists. And it works. Unfortunately, it was just a drop. I want more, damn it. Right now. Calm down, Dahlia. You'll get some more once we get to that point. So, it looks like we know exactly. We know it in the uh, potion. Well, not what's happening to the potion. We know that that bottle of vial is actually the mixture of the sun, sun potion. And it actually works. So I think what is left to do here, I believe that you'll see. I did it, Felix's potion worked. I walked right in on that wedding and then Alejandro! My god! Uh, hello. You took the sun potion from my room, and you use it? In public? Calm down. There was no harm done. Well, not to you, anyway. You don't understand. Now they will know you have it, and they will find out where I've been hiding. Oh, what have you done? For heaven's sake, don't be so dramatic. Who are you talking about? They're in the VQ. Call everyone together. Hurry! Felix. We can't let them get their hands on the potion! We'll have the troop disperse. I'll give everyone a piece of the recipe. That's it. That way, there's some hope we'll keep it out of their hands. We, we, we must go, Alex, now! Uh-oh. The invaders are after the sun potion. I'll have to track down all the pieces of the recipe before they do. I'd better make sure this mechanical secretary stays quiet. Shame, really. I think I'll take the heart fluid with me, though. I worked hard on that. Okay, we're going to take this. I can't leave the secretary working. I don't want anyone else to hear Felix's plan. 
which is why we're going to destroy it with the vampire power. Sorry, Miss Thang. I need to silence you for good. And that is how you get the spring. Which means we get to fix the lever for the boat. This one doesn't work. I think there's a spring missing. Where's a maintenance man when you need one? You don't need one. We got one right here. Oh, that is one ugly looking baby doll. Oh, this is the doll that Tinderbell wanted. She called it her baby. You found my baby. Give it to me. Not so fast. Give me your part of Felix's recipe, and I'll give you this lovely baby. But I can't. You'd better be nice, or I'll set you on fire. Oh, but you'd burn the baby. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's trade. Be careful, you'll burn the paper. Felix might not like that. You're mean! I'm going to tell Alex what you did! He'll come after you and cut you into a million, billion, a gazillion, billion pieces! Hmm, this could get interesting. To be continued. Well, well, well. It looks like Tinderbell isn't as nice as she seems, but she is a nice period. Obviously, she's going to tell Alex about about Dahlia, which is going to be very bad. However, Dahlia is in phase, so that's the end of episode two. But this isn't the this isn't the end of part two just yet. So we're now continuing. And this is part Previously on Dying for Daylight, Dahlia learned that the Sun Potion was created by Felix, the prop master for the circus. Felix knew his old enemies would be coming for the recipe. He divided Ooh. the potion's recipe among the members of the circus troupe and told them to spread to the four winds. Mm-hmm. And then she, and then she made a trade for in the last episode, Dahlia got a portion of the recipe from Tinderbell. Now there are just seven pieces to go. Mm -hmm. Episode 3, The Glutton of Gilborn. So you know what that means. That means we're going to introduce to someone who is a glutton. But we gotta take a look at this boat. What's this? Hmm. This might be a clue, you think? I wonder which of the Cirque Terrible troop members would write this. The glutton of Gilborn looks like a V who likes to eat. I'd better fly to Memphis and check it out. Indeed you do, Dahlia. So, this is episode 3. Or part 2. And we get to switch locations. So, we're at Memphis. We're going to Check out everything. So, we're gonna pick up this rake. And I think we're going to use the rake on this. Come on. Hey, a key. That is, a rusty key. This quickie compost is vicious. Any longer and it would have dissolved completely. Okay, we're going to take this key. And I believe it's going to be in use... I don't... We can use it, but we can't because it's rusted up. So, I believe we have to go back here, and we need to go to another hidden object scene. Yeah, that's it. But, I'm going to have to wrap this up because that's going to be the end of part two of this Let's Play. So stick around for part three. <laughs>